Hi folks and welcome back. Thanks for joining me. You can see I'm still wrapping up here on the rust removal using my scotch Bright pad number 7448 with a little navel jelly and uh, just wiping it off and uh, continuing that process. Let's take a look at another uh, problem here I found electrically. The band change switch here. An issue that I discovered early on, you can see the uh, what they call the band change switch, or what I would refer to as the uh, band selector switch. You can see the little tabs there that uh, make contact here with the uh, rotating piece. They're all um, out of shape, and um, somebody it looks like has rotated the switch around, as you can see here in some short video and uh, damaged all the uh, contacts. So um, looking at this, unless they uh, pop off, I think I can make a repair. And a few still photos here at various angles so you guys can see you know, what I'm up against. Not a big deal, I don't believe, again, unless these little uh, tabs uh, pop off. I should be able to uh, straighten them up and then uh, clean up this switch here. I'll probably use my uh, citric acid and water again. See how it works out on this. I think it'd be a good candidate for it. And here you can see I've got the uh, band change switch out of the uh, chassis itself and a closer look here. The citric acid worked perfect there with some warm water. Let that soak for a couple hours. Uh, took it back outside and uh, gave it a nice rinse and then uh, gave it a nice uh, coating of the Boshiel T9 product as well to lubricate it and uh, just to keep any flash rust from reoccurring. And uh, you can see here we'll flip it over and you can see the area where I made the uh, repairs. Did the best I could on it and then uh, we'll pull out the uh, the meter here, multimeter, and uh, give this thing a check and just make sure everything's working the way it should. So it appears that uh, all my testing looks good here. I hit a home run. You never know unless you try. So um, we'll get it back in the uh, chassis here at some point and uh, make sure it performs well. If not, we'll look for a, a replacement. You can see uh, here just the areas where I made the uh, repairs. Tried to straighten those out uh, best I could and got lucky there. The shaft there. Got all the uh, rust off of it as well. Got the uh, Bow Shield T9 on there. Let's take a look at the IF transformers now. Just taking time here to remove the uh, IF transformers, just cutting one lead at a time and taking time to uh, denote the uh, connection points as well. Just some hand drawings here that I can compare against the uh, schematic itself. And uh, here's the uh, IF transformer. Again, we'll move over and uh, I'll clip out the uh, other one as well. Same process here. Just uh, taking note here of the orientation of that top piece here for the uh, green eye tube. Look back at the chassis here. You can see a little de-rusting here left to do around this area. But uh, the chassis uh, overall though you can see it's really starting to uh, clean up nicely. And since there was very little rust around this area I knew it would only take a few minutes here to get this cleaned up. You can see me removing that one uh, washer there in the uh, metal standoff just taking note of how that's actually attached uh, to the chassis just to make sure it wasn't uh, an isolated uh, grommet it appears not to be and uh, we'll just go ahead and knock out the uh, rust removal here around that IF transformer get this thing uh, cleaned up here before I start uh, on the IF transformer rebuild itself you can see here things are starting to uh, shape up. Looks better here around the uh, IF transformer that was removed. And uh, now move over to the uh, remaining transformer and get it out of the chassis as well. As you can see here, the uh, old grid leads had better days. And uh, no way to really save that, even with a uh, sleeve. So I'm going to just cut it off flush here. And... Uh, We'll get it uh, replaced and we'll have to open up this can anyway. A lot of rust there on the uh, 
trimmers or the uh, tuning condensers that you can see, little patterns. So I want to get this thing apart here and uh, take a look at it, document uh, the transformer here as well. As you can see here, I'm going to break down the uh, IF transformer. You can see the rust there on the adjustments, those uh, two screws there, each side primary, secondary of the IF transformer. Take those out and uh, clean uh, in between the uh, mica sheets uh, best I can as well. So you can see uh, that uh, rust there around the fastener. And of course, the uh, grid wire that was protruding through, and we'll replace it also. And a close up here of the adjustments there for the uh, capacitors, and a look at the primary and secondary coils here on the uh, coil former itself. You can just see all the amount of crud, and this is what actually attaches or holds the uh, form factor back to the uh, top piece as well. And you can see me here, I've got that screw out and uh, just cleaning the uh, pieces of uh, mica here, trying to be cautious as possible in doing uh, one section at a time there with the uh, de-rusting of that uh, screw and uh, washer as well. Everything back together here and a little testing here in just a moment just to make sure that I didn't uh, create any uh, issues along the way. I've demonstrated this before, but I'm just using my signal generator. In this case, the IF frequency is 455 kilocycles. I'm generating that uh, frequency and uh, just testing, looking for uh, peak amplitude. So I'm doing a, a quick alignment out of chassis. On the IF transformer, so when I place it back in, uh, hopefully it will be uh, close. And you can see here, I need to move along here to the uh, second IF transformer and uh, just repeat the uh, process itself. Take this thing apart here real quick and uh, give it a bath as well. In the uh, citric acid solution, that is the uh, can itself, not the uh, transformer. So that's where I'm at right now, folks, on the uh, Crossley. I'll let these parts continue to uh, soak in the cleaning solution here. Get this other IF transformer here cleaned up and uh, just make sure I've got everything documented well. And uh, one last look here at the uh, chassis. So you can see I'm really, really close now on getting most of the rust off just around this back uh, transformer and that one uh, electrolytic can. And I will be ready for a rust inhibitor and then start on the electrical restoration next. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care.